This video is about diffuse lighting. All you need to do is make sure that you have the word diffuse and then something to the right of it, similar to how we've done with emission and ambient. You also need to make sure that you have a working light in your scene. A directional light is the fastest type of light. So I'll be illustrating with that. So you need to know, that's all you need to know if you already understand diffuse lighting. So there, diffuse lighting is kind of quirky in that it's based on the normals, not the direction that the faces are pointing. So what's the difference there? Well, in this case, we have normals of a plane that all point in the direction of the z-axis of this plane. Same thing happens with this cube, but it doesn't happen with this cube. So this cube uses what's known as smooth shading, and this cube does not. We'll see if we rotate it that we can make these other faces go from white to gray to black. If you have any normal that's pointing 90 degrees or more away from the light, then it's going to be black. And then as it turns more towards the light, we'll get a contribution of that light color. So it doesn't have to be white. It could be whatever you set the light color to. And again, you'll multiply that color by what you define in your shader. In this case, again, is this variable of diffuse. So we'll define, we'll turn this light back to white. So this cube is made up of 24 vertices, which allows us to get hard edges because you're doing lighting at the vertices and then interpolating. So all of these four vertices are black. And although these vertices are in the same place, these white ones, they are not the same. These, however, are all the same vertex. This is, is one vertex, rather. So this cube is only using a total of eight vertices as opposed to 24. And normally you want to keep the vertices down on the iPhone uh, considerably more than you would on other platforms. But for a shape like a cube, your, your results are going to be very wrong if you don't use hard edges. So just know that it's a way to uh, save, save calculations by using fewer vertices, but it's not correct. So this is going to be as if you had an average of all three of these faces pointing out this way, and the lighting calculation is based on that. Here is a sphere that I uh, modeled in Blender, and there's another sphere over here that's the standard unity, unity sphere. So when you have a sphere, and the standard unity one, uses the smooth shading, then it looks pretty good and real and the, the results are as good as you could expect. And if you use the same amount of triangles, or same amount of vertices, and have hard edges, like this one I modeled in Blender, then although the results for each face are correct and perfect and everything based on this calculation with the light, it doesn't look as good because we're trying to go for the shape of a sphere. So the silhouette, of course, is blocky, but the lighting is correct here and not correct based on what we'd expect in this case, um, unless you were going for a really blocky type of, type of shape. And here is a sphere that is basically maxing out the amount of uh, vertices you can use in a mesh in Unity. So 128 uh, vertices in this direction, 128 in that. And Again, each one of these calculations per face, the faces are all ha going to have the same value, um, is correct, but it still doesn't look as good as this much lower tr uh, vert vertex count sphere using smooth shading. Get all kinds of weird banding issues, there seems to be a hard edge here, which doesn't really exist. So use smooth, sh smooth shading as much as you can, that is, sharing the normals between vertices, except for when you want to actually have that edge defined, of course. And something that can work out well is using UV seams in the same place that you need hard lighting, because when you use a UV seam, um, that's going to create verti new vertices. So if this was a seam on top, and we needed to have you know this be in a different section of the texture map than this, then you'd automatically be having two vertices here and two here, so if you wanted to have a hard light there, it would be a way to do that without having to introduce any more extra vertices um, into your model. 